Hey guys, I want to make a video talking about the real reason why a person is not in shape. You now, I get a, I get asked a lot of questions about uh, what are the best exercises to do to build muscle, burn fat, get a six pack, bigger arms, all these things, you know. And almost every single time, like nine out of ten times, I would say almost even a hundred percent, the people that are asking aren't doing anything. Over time, I started seeing this pattern and I realized I, I totally get it if somebody is, is working out, doing what they know, doing the best that they can with whatever experience that they have. And, uh, you know, they're not, they're not getting the results that they want. So they're asking somebody to give them a hand to help them out. I totally get it. But it's another thing when somebody's not doing anything and they're just asking for advice, asking of what is the thing to do, but they don't do anything. They're not doing anything. Therefore, the real reason on why people aren't in shape is because they aren't doing the two most simplest things that's needed. It's, it's exercising and eating right. That's it. Most people have actually probably convinced themselves that, man, you know, the reason why I'm not in shape is just because I need to know what's best for me, you know? As if, like, their body is so, so special from everybody else that they just need this custom program. You know, like, customization and all this stuff, there is a place for it, but that is for someone to be very, very advanced. That's for them to go ahead and really dial in on the little detail. We don't need to go and, and customize anything when it comes to getting started and also when it comes to building a foundation a foundation of strength a foundation of agility speed muscle why well because we are human and our bodies are all uniquely different but yet all the same we all have two legs and two arms if you do a curl your biceps will get bigger but the shape in which it gets bigger is dependent on the way you do a curl. Why would somebody just do nothing? Well, that is the reason why people are not in shape, because they're doing nothing. If the real issue is that people just aren't doing anything, it's not that they're doing the wrong thing, they're doing nothing. Why would a person want to focus so much on exercise programs, on special techniques, on you know the, these all of these diets why don't they go ahead instead focus on how to do something how to go and do anything every day five minutes ten minutes whatever time amount if somebody wanted to go jog you know because that's what they like to do then go jog if somebody can go and just do 10 push-ups a day then do 10 push-ups a day Whatever it is, pull-ups, well, it doesn't matter, sit-ups, what's the best ab exercise? What ab exercise have you done? None. What do, what do you know? I know how to do a crunch and a sit-up. Great, go do that. Is it going to work? Why don't you do it and you find out? Well, I don't know if it's going to work, so then I just do nothing. When we look at that, what's actually happening is that people are afraid. Afraid of messing up. Afraid of failing afraid of judgment of what other people are going to think of them if they do something wrong afraid that they don't know how to do something so they do nothing afraid that it's going to be something that is really tough and they're going to fail at it all of these reasons around fear around fearing what other people think fearing of judgment of themselves that it's better to not do anything and get no results then to go ahead and get some results and then now having to deal with the fear of failing and all the stuff. That is the actual real reason that people are not getting in shape. So how do we overcome that? Like how do we stop that? You know the fastest way to stop it? Fastest way. Literally just starting off and doing something. Five minutes. Five minutes. I've had hundreds and thousands of people do five minute exercises. Five minute exercise, all I have people do most of the time, push up and squat. I have them put their hand on a kitchen counter or on like a table or something around that height. 
30 seconds of push-ups, 30 seconds of squats. They don't count reps, they just do the best they can. Whenever they get tired, they stop, you know, they slow down. And they just keep going back and forth. 30 seconds push-up, 30 seconds squat, 30 seconds push-up, 30 seconds squat. And you do it for five minutes, that's 10 sets. Five minutes, they're done. So many people have been able to build muscle, burn fat, become stronger by doing something so simple and so easy. Many people, from the people that actually tried it, many people actually ended up starting to do longer workouts. And then before I know it, they joined the gym. Before I know it, they got a trainer, and then they're doing like these full-blown one-hour workouts because they overcame that first initial hurdle of getting started, you know? They overcame that fear, they just went for it. So that's like the easiest and the fastest way to do it. Don't let your mind talk you out of it. Don't let your phone with all of the notifications direct your attention to something else. Don't let it. That's why I suggest everybody to do it first thing in the morning because that's when your mind is the most fresh. You haven't had a chance to go ahead and get pulled in all these different directions with all the people and messages that you need to answer and look at. Before all of that happens, take bare minimum five minutes to go and do something good for your body. And if you do something good for your body, then you're doing something good for your mind. Because when our body feels good, our mind thinks good. When our body is strong, our mind is mentally stronger. So it's a feedback loop, they affect each other. That's the real reason. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about that. You know, And uh, yeah, share with me your thoughts on it. You know, I'd love to get more video ideas on this, see what type of stuff you guys wanna, wanna hear. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get a lot of messages going, tell me about the best workouts. <laughs> Let me answer that really quickly right now, all right? There's 12 exercises that I, that I do. Literally like 95% of all of my workouts right now are 12 exercises. I purposely do it as an experiment to see how my body's gonna respond. And they are, da 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 da, push-ups, pull-ups, burpees, or actually dips and burpees, handstand push-ups or pike, squats, lunges, leg raises, running in place, kicking, striking, jumping, and plank. It'll be like 14 exercises. And that's because if I don't have a place to do pull-ups, I do prone cobra. And that's where you lay on your stomach and then you extend your arms out and then you kind of go out like that. And you do a four second count. So it's like one, two, three, four. You come up for a sec, hold two, and then come back together. Really good for your scapula, for your rear delts, for middle of your back. I replace that for pull-ups when I don't do pull-ups. I do burpees instead of doing dips. Sometimes that's a replacement. Those are those are it. Nothing nothing fancy, man. I've been able to get into really really good shape right now, just doing those things, you know. So, so there goes one answer, one question answered. All right, see you guys.